Hello there, my beautiful, beautiful Aryan people. Welcome to the channel. Jessica here, ready to do you guys another uh, reading. And we'll just label this one, I guess, just a New Year 2023 January read. But as always, I consider my readings to be timeless. So whenever you've been sit here, God has led you here. That is the message, <clears throat> excuse me, that you are meant to receive. So let's just get right into it, Aryans. I'm ready, I'm ready. Get some of that fire action, Jackson. Let's see what's up with you guys. <sighs> As always, yeah, I meditate and get a little energy before I do each read. Okay, we got some jumpers on red. Just put my hands on the car. All right, there's a musician. But the med meditation was definitely correlating with that because I think you always have been taking on a little some emotional stuff, you know, some family stuff, some work stuff, just... It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And I think you guys have been um, moving out some things to make room for some new things. Like whether you've been doing that or not, like actively, the universe has, has been doing that for you. So, of course, with those shifts, things can get a little funny. You know, uh, yeah. like I said, just emotions all over. Um, like I always call those tired moments. But anyway, Spirit is clearly... Um, letting me know or let me know in the meditation yeah you've been uh, emptying your cup but it is time to fill it back up and spirit said they are assisting you with that they have given you like your passion and your power back and they're ready and they're ready to go now too so i'm just gonna close my little mouth up and read you guys so hope everybody's doing well oh okay <clears throat> excuse me that same one i got in the meditation again god is giving you I feel like getting your you're getting your power back it's coming back for you in 2023 for sure and 2022 has been a difficult emotional time for my sweet fire signs but um it won't be long it won't be long till god has you back in the cradle of his arms okay and what's crazy you never left but <clears throat> sometimes that 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 line he has in that prayer. Yea, though I walk through the shadow, the valley of the shadow and the death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me. You're still with me. So that's, you know, just basically saying, yes, there are going to be the shadow times, the dark times, the heavy times. I'm you it may not seem that I'm there with you like in other times, but God is letting y'all know 100%. I have been there. I have been the one, you know, making these moves, making these shifts. So, you know, they can work out for you, okay? So, enough talking. Let's get into this reading because that's just what happened. Aries, again, after a long time of trying to reorder, redirect, re something in your life, you're finally being able to do that. And it's mainly because you are letting some things go. You realize now, I have the power. I'm the musician here. The tools are in my hands to create whatever uh, new reality that I want to create. So that's what the musician represents, and this is a jumper. And again, back to the uh, meditation. Yeah, whatever you've been dealing with, it is up to you to change it, first off. So he wants to say that. And even if it's not one of those pushing times, but his spirit is also giving you the go to change it. Like, you have the power now in your hands in whatever shape or form this situation may um, exist in. I have given you the tools to change it. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. And followed by the nine of cups. Excuse me, ten of cups. That's happiness. That's joy. That's having a happily ever after. That's being able to be comfortable. That's like, uh, let's say this card to me is a white picket fence. You know, happy life. Um, just, um, what we all, I just consider the American dream as far as family, status quo. Um, but I do feel that, unfortunately, <laughs> Spirit is taking me here. I have to just, I read intuitively. But yes, that was the main push here. I feel for some of you, someone took your happily, happily ever after from you. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm an intuitive reader. I felt it was going one way, but Spirit was like, eh, go this way. But yes, um, 
still the message is the same. The power is in your hands. I think, again, you have your power back now because you've let a few things go on or, again, allow someone maybe to come in and cause strife, pain, lies. Deception, like even if they wouldn't, you know, they just wouldn't be in wholeheartedly what you needed them to be, and they took your happily ever after. And I just feel, even in general, I feel in relationships for my Aries, some of you guys are dating. I feel, and it's like you meet someone, and it's like you get you get excited just to be let down. And I, Lord knows, I get that. But spirit is just telling you to focus on what you can. The things that you can change, serenity prayer, the things that you can focus on, focus on those. Um, and for some of you, it is work. For some of you, it's a new project. But for some of you, God is saying, yeah, if you're not, you know, um, really dive into something that is, um, even if it's not your physical job, it's just it's what I'm trying to say. Like, make something that is uh, something that you're working on. Or that you need to start working on, make that your new priority. So for some of my areas, I feel that you're sitting on something, has been sitting on something that you need to do. Now this definitely could be, I feel this, I do feel it's a project or something work for work or something that could possibly make you money. Because it's the eight of pentacles. But also in this reading, I feel that this is getting back focused, getting back to you. Like, I feel you've been giving yourself to people or that person that you were kind of dedicated to. Um, and now that things are, that, you know, things didn't quite work out. But Spirit, it was like, it's not over, boo. I feel some of you are really like, man, now that that didn't work out, what am I going to do? Keep on living. Keep on working. Get back to what you were doing or start something new wholeheartedly because that's here too. This person and this energy leaves you out in the cold too much. Like, I feel that here so strong. They don't give you what you fully need in a relationship. It's a little bit of a breadcrumb type of energy. And uh, I feel for a lot of you, Aries, this is like something that you have recently got rid of. For some of you, I'm speaking, you know, after because um, I feel that here too. For, for some of my, it's, it's always two aspects of people, the high polar, polarities and the lower polarities. So I feel that with the um, people who are like in alignment, and again, are they're cleansing or clearing out some things in their life. Yeah, this is your message too, is as far as you have the push, you have the momentum, you have the spirit now to go and create and get the life that you want, whether that's physical, money, emotions, whatever it is. You can heal now. You can. It's like spirit is giving you permission. The struggle is over. Or the sometimes spirit gives us these journeys now where we walk in a path and it get a little in. Eh, but he's shaping us to be our better, higher selves. So I think some of you Aries are ready for that, and that's amazing to me. It's a lot of that here. A lot of good, passionate spirituality, even. You know, like like back to momentum and power is behind you. Like angels are behind you. So keep moving forward. That's what the Page of Pentacles represents to some type of start, some type of new beginning. Um, that is, again, back to Pentacles do represent money in tarot. So this is some type of new business venture or just a side job hustle that is going to be okay for you, right? Um, and I want to just say, too, it is a lot going on in this reading. And I'm really trying to keep things on the surface. But for any personal readings, Aries, y'all feel free to contact me. Because I can go so deep. But on YouTube, I try to stay definitely on the surface and give you just the general collective energy of the Aryan people. Which is usually the same. The energies don't necessarily change. The situations might shift with different zodiacs. But um, I just always want to extend that. Because it's, 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 it can go a bit deep. So, um... But I do, again, I feel that with the Aryan energy, there is, you have the baton now, you have the power. So go create, or just even if it's just having your strength back after a breakup, you know, sometimes we can be a little weak. And just, you know, not our full um, selves. But God is saying, just keep going, I'm going to extend that in you, and I'm going to give you your power that you um, 
that you were longing for or that you lost along the way. And yes, spirit want to dig all up into love in this reading. And y'all know me at this point now. I don't mind love readings, but I don't like to saturate uh, the, uh, the reader or the, the, the readings with love readings. Because a lot of us ask about love and we really should be kind of getting ourselves together or working on ourselves. And then that way, you know, whoever we end up getting with, you know, possibly it can work. Or we can see some things about that person that we may or may not like or need to be with anyway. So that's why it's always good to work on yourself or read for yourself. But, of course, if you're connected to someone in a strong way, that is going to come up. And I definitely feel that here. So let's just go right into love. But, unfortunately, it is what is stating. There is a love uh, connection with the Aries. And, I mean, this is happening in the present moment. Well, yeah, you may need to um, have to add that conversation. Because I'm going to just say it like this. This person is taking from you. Now, whether that's money, physical, or I just say physically taking something. Um, but I do feel it's more emotions because this is a lover. This is a loving connection. So, um, back to just, you know, in love, you expect things, you know. And we all have different, you know, things we expect for, you know, everybody's not the same. But love, ultimately, you want trust, you want loyalty, you want respect. And I feel like that's what's not happening here. And on top of that, this person kind of goes in and out as well. They come back. It's like they come, like they're ready to start new and yay, let's get married and do this. And then it's just, you know what, I'm going through something right now. I'm going to just go home and I'm going to stay in my um, zone for about five days and then I'm going to come back and holler at you. No, no, no. That's not what being in a relationship is. It's what being a friend is. <laughs> But I don't feel that's what you were wanting. And I feel that that person was promising you things that did not, um, their action did not meet, meet it or match it. So, um, Seven of Cups is here. For two things, like I said, two different people. Like, this is making a smooth transition. Back to power, spirit is just definitely intuitively getting me this. For some of you, that are in this love triangle and it's not quite and i say triangle because i feel sometimes with things the try the third thing could be just the, the negative aspect of the person it doesn't always have to be a, you know someone's cheating possibly <laughs> but it's more of a up and down in and out there's always something else it should be two of us in this connection but something else some something always takes you and whether it's your job um, or again, someone else, but that's here. So I'm saying I like to say Aries, um, there needs to be some type of shift in this. Now, whether that's you having a conversation with your person and letting them know that you're not happy right now. And if that goes smooth, great, kudos, you know, that's, that's wonderful. There's nothing like understanding with someone that you love. Or care about but I do feel this person is going to be had a little friction you know but we'll see but if your person cares about you enough does not want to lose you they will listen but spirit is kind of letting me know something needs to shift in this connection so it can be healthy again and not toxic But for my other Aries who kind of like out the door, <laughs> I got to talk to y'all too because it's some of y'all mad as hell. It's some of y'all like, uh-uh, Jessica, because you talking about something that happened last month. And um, I already told Tyrone, do not call my phone again. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yes, for some of you who has had enough, because again, some of us are it you know at different levels in relationships and stuff like this so it just depends no judgment on anyone but we have to be you know had enough we have to be tired we cannot listen to anybody telling us the girl you need to leave him like no i have to decide that on my own i have to have had enough and um for some of you you definitely have because some of you got your power back. Some of you are the Empress, baby. One of my favorite cards in the Zodiac. 
because she's just so angelic. And when you get her, you automatically know that you're walking in your divine power. Because that's all she is. She She's like a Mother Gaia. So she's always depicted as pregnant because usually she's birthing new ideas, creating something, giving life to something, someone even, you know. She's guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, those stars represent angels. Angels are constantly giving her her downloads right from heaven. So again, that's why she's one of my favorites. She's the Mother Gaia. She represents femininity and fertility and just having all that you need and trusting, trusting the spirit. So I feel back to power, as I stated, some of y'all have stood right on up in the Empress energy and which is beautiful. Love it. Now, some of you guys definitely have to or are just working on getting there. Cause I'm no again judgment here. Sometimes breakups can be hard, or just sometimes just realizing, dang, this guy has really used me, or this girl has really, you know, taken my money and used me. Like sometimes it takes a minute for that to resonate. So when it does, you put your little dress on, get your red shoes, <laughs> and walk in your empress energy because there is some deception around you. Because someone is accepting the um the Empress, baby. And that's you, Aries. It's a lot of Aryan energy here, too. So um do not let anybody take your fire. Take your take your um just back to power, you know. Our Aryans people are very powerful. They're usually confident, beautiful people. They usually know how to dress and you know that whole thing. Just like this Queen of Wands energy here. People love to like. I feel like you, you know, get a lot of compliments even on just on your flair and how you are. And, but yes, um, there is some disharmony and some deception that's around you that's dimming your light. <laughs> and Spirit just said, oh, for someone, they just make them snap out of it. Because <laughs> guess what? An Aries is the light. An Aries is fire and passion and love and just that, that energy that you, you know, just motivates you. So for someone to be trying to damn that, uh-uh, when Aries find that out, bam, I'm out of here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's not all, definitely is not what it's me. But again, two, I'm reading for two types of Aries in this reading. I don't mean to keep saying that, but it, it's just so, here so strong. Because again, some of you are just, some of you took that message last month, last two months, and got into work. And now that slow and steady hard work, uh, put my feet in the mud, whole energy, yeah, that has or that will be lucrative for you. This is a beautiful ending, the Knight of Pentacles to be, because this is what's coming to you. You see how you coming with that big old pinnacle? Money? Or just some type of abundance and or even healing in some way, something that was hurtful. I love the ending, yes, because the Hierophant, same thing. She comes to stand up, get her power back, let y'all know who the boss is here, and it's me. The Spirit just told me, for some of you, this is your children. For, for an Aries out there, this is you with your children, because they have gotten a bit out of line. Teenagers, like, they need to remember you're the one that keep the lights on. You're the one that makes sure they have what they need, food, clothes. You're the one paying that cell phone bill every month. Like, this is that energy. So, for the parents out there, for sure, standing back up and hiring for the energy and letting the, your family, tribe, even if that's the husband, know what it is now. It's different now. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. You guys been around here not treating me as a mother. I think with the new world, the mother don't get the, the respect she deserves at times. It's like she becomes this slave to the family when <clears throat> she's considered the matriarch. You know, the one that is uh, the heartbeat of the family. When the mother's presence is gone, presence is gone, you will know it. Sorry about this red beach, guys. <laughs> so 
let's just get a little clarity and we will wrap you guys reading up i'm already at 19 minutes sorry all right we're gonna use the light sears tarot deck it's reading up i'm already at 19 minutes sorry all right we're gonna use the light sears tarot deck just to clarify my for my aries thank you god angels ancestors and spirit guides thank you my sweet shoes and all the beautiful aunties all right let's get clarity for the aryan people get up off of that um I keep wanting to say triangle but that's really not the right phrase <laughs> but yeah it's like it's a vicious like cycle you know I feel like you start talking to this person for a little while and then they come in with something sweet or let me take you to the play Friday and then it's just like oh I'm right back in this cycle because this person is broken and they need healing too so they come and snatch you back up whenever they need some feel goods but then when they get their little feel goods they go right back into their little circle and then they leave you feeling empty so that's why it's a lot of light dimming and getting you know um somebody getting kind of breadcrumb and not getting all of they need all of what they need in a connection but I do feel it here again. It's some Aries that don't want to let it go. And I get that. You know, sometimes it takes us time to see. And sometimes we're in we're in love. Love clouds that. But I do encourage you to find strength if someone is not treating you with full on respect. I encourage you. Cause I'ma just say this, reading this like this. Some of you know it, because, man, I have not met an Aries that is not a super intelligent individual. I mean, they be knowing people, like, they are really deep and empathetic even, like, but Aries, I'm going to be honest, you know what this person's doing, but it's here. They make you feel good when they do step out, when they do get out the shell, when they finally show up. They make you feel real good. Y'all have, you are happy together. Y'all laugh together. Y'all do that whole thing. Because this person is, again, kind of damaged and broken. They know how to be on the surface. but And they may be telling jokes and doing this and spending money. But they are so just damaged in the inside to where you're not getting the authentic person anyway. So what you're kind of falling in love with is a facade. So this is what Spirit wants you to know, too. And I think, again, you know this. Like, how can this person be so different at times because they're faking they're faking but um yes these two combinations for sure make me uh allow me to see yeah it's it's gonna be a little push for you because i think your heart is in it but just give yourself a moment some time and you will find yourself you know there in your happy state again but um for some of you guys spirit is saying straight up it is time for a restart a rebirth a death and it's not a literal death, but that also can mean that it is time for a new beginning, a fresh restart, a closing of a chapter that is no longer working. Because I'm a, this reading started to become redundant at this point, so I guess I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Because they're throwing you off of your angelic energy, your spiritualness. Aries, you're very spiritual. Even if that's not going to church every Sunday, you do things that are good for your soul. You think you you know you do things to keep yourself centered. Like I feel that they throw that off. You know, they dim it, they take it from you, and you got to keep your cup full, Queen of Pentacles, because you are a healer. And Aries, that has been atoning your reading for a couple months. And I always like to explain does not does not always have to look like church, or you know doing things like that. But it's helping God's people in whatever shape or form, whatever is on your heart. Yes, I'm going to go, I'm going to go feed um, just a small group of children that are at the YMCA. Like, things like that. That is so God-given. On top of the personal things, you know, I think Spirit is like, girl, keep doing you, pampering yourself, 
self-caring. I feel like some of you were on a healing path. I mean, really going there. And then this person came and just threw you right off. I do feel some personal pain here too, Aries. Maybe even a, a bit of some, just a little uh, heartbreak or grief. So again, if you want private readings, just let me know. I don't want to. But yeah, I think some of you are healing from a really... Whether you lost someone due to, you know, death or um, just really, like, lost, lost someone. And every time I tell y'all, this sage has burned the whole time. <laughs> that never happens. But I feel there's nothing negative. But Spirit is trying to clear some of these things out so you can be happy and whole again. So the ha harmony can exist. Three of Pentacles mirroring each other from the different decks. When cards mirror, that means that that is something that needs to happen pretty quickly. And also, these threes are mirroring. There are angels here to assist you now. I feel you have been weak. You have been a bit down and couldn't quite get yourself out of it. But angels are there to assist you. So take the assistance. We're, we don't have to walk. Even though God may leave us, or not leave us, but sometimes in those shadow moments, we have to face those alone. He's just in the background. We call upon him. He's there. But God is not going to throw your old bad boyfriend out. Long story short, you know, you're going to have to do that. So, um, yeah, so the harmony can exist. I feel that some of you need to, two things, work on your inner child because I feel that it affects you from not seeing, staying in situations too long, I feel. Some of you, I'm going to just say it on, don't take this nothing away, but I have them, daddy issues. And you find yourself trying to fix people and, Oh, they're going to be like this in a couple months. Or I'm going to be able to heal them. I'm going to... No, no, no. Let's just work on ourselves. And you can give a person the tools to work on themselves. But let's not ever try to think that we're going to fix a grown person. Okay? And, um, yeah. I'm going to just say it too. I feel that your person is a bit childish. And I'm going to tell you this too. Spirit is giving me straight up. Your person is going to forever try to bother you. Again, you like what they say, you're home to them. You're good. You feel good to them. But they may not be ready to fully commit and do the whole thing with you. But they come. They keep coming back. They keep coming back like a vicious circle cycle. All right, guys. We'll wrap this up. And uh, I'm going to end with the African Goddess deck. Just to get a little more clarity here. And um, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And it here. Wow, I am at 20. This is the longest one, guys. What's up with y'all, Aries? <laughs> Aries. All right, let's go. Let's go. Anything else? Falling out my hand. Ooh, I think it's two, really. Really, guys. Really, guys. Okay. I, I received it. I received that. So let's show you these beautiful cards, guys. And the first one is Miss Iset. And her message is simply what? Surrender. Yes. Yes, because Aries, I feel that you're really... First of all, you tried with this person. You tried to see their heart and give them a chance. But, unfortunately, we cannot change people. So now it's just simply time to surrender. But let's see what her um, affirmation says in the book. And I will let you guys go. I sit. Ooh, she is revered as a magical healer or sorceress. She has a thousand names. I sit, a set, u set, I set. And she was worshipped in Nubia by the Sudan region of, in Egypt. Let it all go. Say aloud now. I surrender. These words cast a spell. Breathe them in. Release control. Stop bonding around struggle. Yeah, I feel that really here. It's like you guys do talk about your pain together. But unfortunately, well, you're healing, Aries. That person, they, they need to start. So, yeah, I'm talking about my pain with you. But I'm also doing the things to help myself get through this. So, um... Sorry, but yes, yeah, spirit says allow spirit to carry you and to fill in those gaps. We don't have to bond over struggle, love. 
So you don't have to figure it all out. God has your back. Have faith in where you are at the moment. And her declaration is simply this. Everything I need to know finds me at the perfect time. Everything I need to know finds me at the perfect time. So in all other areas, just surrender. Like love really took over this reading, but even in other aspects, just surrender, guys. Yes. Yes, and I'm going to read Miss Jumbie as well, and we're going to wrap it up, guys. And Jumbie is considered the outworldly uh, spirit of our dreams. Where's the lie? Get quiet, get clear, put your hand on your heart. Are you confused or are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So that's why, again, you're dimming your light because you're fooling with low vibrational people. Show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you wearing a mask, dare to reveal yourself. Hmm. If someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a projection of your own. This is family. So her declaration is simply this. I am willing to remove my mask. Again. I am willing to remove my mask. Okay, Aries, and I will leave it here, sweet babies. I'm so, so... Um, sorry to have went on so long, but um, again, I just, I, I'm led by spirit. So if you guys hadn't already, please, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, take care, be blessed, and kudos to you. Namaste.